Hi, welcome VTEX. I hope our videos helpful for you. So, please consider subscribe us and press the bell icon. In this video we will discussing about APK. If you have an Android device, you might have heard the term APK and wondered what it means. Don't worry, this video solve all queries about APK. So, let's get started. First what is an APK? An APK is an archive file, meaning that it contains multiple files, plus some metadata about them. You're probably familiar with other types of archive files, like zip and rr. APK stands for Android Package Kit. It's the file format that Android uses to distribute and install apps. Moreover, an APK contains all the elements that an app needs to install correctly on your device. Generally, archive files, like zip, are used to combine multiple files into one, in order to make them more portable or, compress them to save space. When an archive is used to distribute software, it's then called a software package. So, all APKs are zips, but not all zips are APKs. What are APK files used for? APK files allow you to install apps on your Android phone. They're similar to the APPX files used to install store apps on Windows 10, as well as corresponding package files on other platforms. When you open an APK on your device, it contains the instructions to install on your phone and provides information about the package itself to your device. Normally, when you visit Google Play and download or update an app, the store automatically installs the APK for you. In this way, the Play Store also acts as a package manager. However, due to Android's open nature, Google Play not allowed install unwanted apps directly. It's easy to obtain an APK file from elsewhere. If helpful for this video, smash the like button. Google Play is fine for most people's Android installation needs, but there are several benefits to installing APKs manually. Also sometime it's danger for your device. One of the biggest benefit, getting access to the latest version of apps ahead of time. When a major Google app, like WhatsApp releases a major update, it can take a week or more for your device to get the latest release from Google Play. Installing the APK on your own lets you skip the wait and update as soon as you want. Moreover, you might find some of the best apps that isn't allowed on Google Play because it violates their policy. Just like desktop software, downloading APK files from random websites can be dangerous. While Google Play has filters in place to catch dangerous apps, there's not as much protection when you're installing APKs on your own. They could be malware disguised as a legitimate app, or might be tampered with to include spyware. So, only download APKs from trusted sites. Now, finally how you can install apps on your device. It's simple, you can install apps with simple few steps. First, to set up your Android device, go to the settings, and navigate to the security option. Select the option of unknown sources to allow the installation of those apps that is not from the Play Store. With turning on this option, then only you will able to install apps on your device. Before downloading an APK file, you should be sure which APK file you want to download. You must choose a reliable trusted for opening it on your Android device without any hassle. If you want download APK file, open the browser and search the APK file you want to download. Click on the file to start the download. After the download is completed, click open to start the installation. That's it, I hope this video helpful for you, please comment your opinion and like the video. We will meet the next one, goodbye.